of my life, I've always been in that realm of kidney failure. Growing up, I always knew that I would need another transplant, so not if, but when. When I was six weeks old, my two kidneys failed because of a condition called congenital nephrotic syndrome. They were taken out at 11 months old and I received my first transplant from a deceased organ donor, a young child who was five years old and her name was uh, Ashley. I'm really only 50% of the story. The reason I'm able to tell you that story is because of that wonderful gift I received all those years ago. The average life expectancy from a deceased donor is uh, 14 to 15 years. I was lucky in the sense that I got 25 good years and certainly 2017, 2018 really began to feel the effects of kidney failure and then I began dialysis again. That over four hours, three days a week for two years, four months, it is a, a really intense marathon but you're alive, that machine, that very machine is keeping you alive. in my life who could do that for me. It's a gift of kindness and love and no amount of money or anything can ever buy that sense of appreciation. Live organ kidneys last longer because they've been out of the body for less time. I'll have a long, stable, healthier life. It'll be four weeks tomorrow and I'm back driving. Uh, feel great and uh, Claire's doing great as well, which is the most important thing. that the pool of organs available for people is much wider so hopefully uh, that will mean more people get off dialysis quicker maybe some people avoid dialysis and it's not then a constant battle saying we need donors although I'm just glad for me I had a live organ donor because it brings a person closer to you you know clears as much here as much as you know uh, Ashley is, you know, both right there and, and the, the two people responsible for giving me the, the life I have now again. Mm -hmm.